Today is Monday the 2nd of May, and on Battle Drill Devotionals this week, we consider how everything God created, including you and me, is designed to connect with each other. Turn with me to our passage for this week. It's Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, to chapter 2, verse 3. And today we're going to read it from the New Living Translation. The Account of Creation In the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. An evening passed, and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, Let there be a space between the waters, to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens. God called the space sky. An evening passed, and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land, and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed-bearing plant, and trees that grow seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. The land produced vegetation, all sorts of seed-bearing plants, and trees with seed-bearing fruit. Their seeds produced plants and trees of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. An evening passed, and morning came, marking the third day. Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, to govern the day and night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures, and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water, and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image, to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God he created them, male and female he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it, Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth, and all the fruit trees for your food. 
and I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. Everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the sixth day. So the creation of the heavens and the earth, and everything in them, was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day, and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. Amen. Have you ever stopped to think how incredible it is that everything in our universe fits and works together? The very beginning of the Bible starts with the very simple yet profound statement that God created the heavens and the earth. Our faith is tested by only the fourth word into the scriptures. The galaxy we live in is vast. It is spinning at a speed of about 490,000 miles an hour, but it still takes it over 200 million years just to make one rotation. And there are at least another one trillion galaxies like ours in the universe. The number of stars in the universe is more than all the grains of sand on all the beaches of the world. But this complex sea of spinning stars functions with remarkable order and efficiency. There would be disastrous consequences if just one of the features of the universe were to get seriously out of kilter. If all that is true, then it seems to me that it takes more faith to believe that anything other than God is behind it all. God really did create this universe and he is worthy of our worship and praise. The connectedness of the universe reveals something of this creator God. He is relational. He wants to connect with his creation. God did not need to create the universe. He chose to do so. God's creation of the universe, this earth and its people, you and me, is an expression of his love. As you move through creation today, marvel once again that God created it all because he loves you. As you reflect on that today, you might want to use this question. Where is your favourite place to get away from it all and connect with your creator? And I hope to see you soon for another battle drill. <laughs>